Hello and welcome back to my channel, Big Bards Gaming. Season 2 has arrived in Sea of Thieves and we're going to take a quick look at what they've added. We have new merchant items for trading. We have the Season 2 Plunder Pass. We have the Dagger Tricks Emote Bundle. We also have a new costume. We have the Dark Warsmith costume. We have the Dark Warsmith ship set. We also have the Dark Warsmith Weapon Bundle. Now this weapon bundle was actually in the Season 1 Plunder Pass. So you've probably already got this in your set if you maxed out the Season 1 Plunder Pass. The free emote this month is Thigh Slapper. When you read the note upon loading in, you will see it tells you about Merchant Alliance commodities. So if you go over to the Merchant Alliance and you check out this book to the merchant's left, you get some progress towards your plunder pass for doing so. And it shows you which outposts are requiring what goods. It also shows you which outposts have an excess of goods. So the idea being you buy from an outpost that has a load of stuff, sell that to an outpost that needs stuff, and that's going to get you a lot of money per delivery. Oh, you're just in time to help us. If you select resources and commodities, here you can buy cannonball crate, a fruit crate, a wood crate, and a storage crate. Yes, you can now buy storage crates from the merchant. All the other crates you buy, the wood, the fruit and the cannonballs, they're all full, so there'll be 50. I do believe you can only buy one at a time. So you can't just get 500 cannonballs straight away. But it certainly beats running around the outpost. Now, what do you want? Go, go, go! Hmm? And if you go to page two of the commodities, these are all the new things you can buy to sell at other outposts for profit. Time to get going. They're locked because you need oh, to become an emissary before you can start buying them. Now I'm an emissary, you can see they're all unlocked. They're not overly priced, and they will go, give go, you a lot go. of profit. Just going to show you the Dark Warsmith weapons real quick.
And now we get to the ship set. And as you can see, it's got this lovely, lovely gold. It's lovely gold shine to it. A skull on the wheel with a big sword sticking through the top to mark the center point of the wheel. And we've got these lovely looking cannons also with a skull on them. And that gold just reflects so nicely in the sun. I didn't buy the premium sales this time around. The difference with the collector's version of the figurehead is that the skeleton's hang in in a golden cage. Now, this is the contents of the Season 2 Plunder Pass. And there you go, there's your level 100 rewards for the Season 2 Plunder Pass. And I think that Shackled Phantom Hole looks absolutely amazing. This is the flare that comes as part of the new set. And finally, we have new Emissary rewards. So if you go to your Emissary Ledger, and just click on any of them it shows you the previous reward you've unlocked and it shows you the next item that you can unlock when you become the top tier emissary for the next month so we have new cosmetics for reapers gold hoarder merchant and order of souls as well as athena's fortune I hope you find this video useful thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe 
and I'll see you in the next one.